Astro Social. Astro Social is the newest addition to the Astro Marketing Suite. So today we're going to go over what exactly is Astro Social, the setup, how to actually use it to post content, um, how to share your Facebook, um, you know, Facebook campaigns using um, the template campaign templates, and then how our brands can actually contribute um, shareable materials to uh, Astro Social. So let's start with who I am. So many of you guys may already know me, um, and I got to meet a lot of you at Super Zoo, which is really freaking exciting and cool. I still have my hat. <laughs> and yeah, anyway. So yeah, so I I do the majority of the marketing suite um, content creation. So the um, the Astro templates and the Astro Media within the Astro Media or the Astro Image Library. So I do take requests for content. So if there's ever anything that you wish to see, please let me know. So right now I'm working on adding more um, like farm and feed images, you know, stuff like that to you know expand it to our, our farm and feed friends. So I've been um, looking up lots of goats and horses and fun things like that. Okay. Um, I also do the marketing guides within the Astro blog. So the marketing guides themselves are designed to be companion pieces to the Astro marketing suite. Um, but honestly, even if you're not on the Astro marketing platform, you can still use these just like you would any sort of like holiday, um, pet holiday information and, um, and apply those to your own campaigns. So it's a free resource for you. And then we also put together blog articles um, with marketing tips for our local retailers. So that's all found on the Astro blog. Um, and if you look upper, like in the top of the chat, I do have links to the blog there that you can find. All right, so what is Astro Social? Um, Astro Social actually connects Astro loyalty directly to your social media. So within the Astro Image Library, that is where Astro Social predominantly lives. So 99% of the images in your library are capable of being shared via Astro Social. So, and that goes for all images. So there are subcategories within both brand media and Astro Media that are labeled as social media, but it's not restricted to just those images alone. So you can share anything from the brand media folder or the Astro Media folder or your My Media folder, as long as the image is, um, not too gigantic or too very small. So images over 800 pixels wide will have a thumbs up icon indicating that they, are, they will not pixelate when posted. Now, even if an image does not have that thumbs up, you'll still see the Astro social icons above it for Facebook and Instagram. And if you see those, that image is still postable. The, um, so, Another part of this, so Astro Social, think of it as like you're posting directly. So it'll look as if you actually created the post directly from either Facebook or Instagram when you um, create it from Astro Social. Now, the Facebook template campaigns, this is more of a share. So what you're actually doing in this is you're sharing a URL to the template that you created. All right. So the Astro Social setup. This lives inside of your Astro Marketing Suite within the settings section. So a good indicator that you do not have it set up is if you see one of those like triangle alert <laughs> exclamation point things um, over your social or your um, marketing suite settings, that will indicate that you're missing a setting and it'll probably be this one since this is the newest addition to settings. So there are some requirements here. For one, you do, need to have your Instagram. So your Facebook needs to be a business Facebook page. And we may already be familiar on how to set that up. You do need a personal page. And then from your personal page, which is, you know, serving as your admin, you can create a business page that's associated with the personal one. And now that Facebook and Instagram are connected, you can actually associate a business Instagram page with your business Facebook page. So what you're actually doing when you're creating these settings or you know, logging in is you're logging into Facebook and then you're choosing the business pages that you want to be associated um, or you know, usable via Astro Social. So all you're doing is you're clicking that login button, um, you're logging into your Facebook account, 
And then you're following the prompts, like, you know, basically agreeing to whatever privacy things that Facebook has in place. And then you are connected. Now, if you have a multi-location account, meaning more than one stores, you know, within a HQ, Astro account, and you have multiple stores attached to it, each one of your admins um, on your uh, multiple location accounts can have their own Astro social settings. So, you know, I assume in many cases you have, you know, your Facebook pages that are associated directly with a, you know, specific store within your, um, your group. So you can actually connect it directly to that specific store or store page, which is pretty cool. Now, something that has come up recently for those that are actively using Astro Social is sometimes you might get an error saying that the image was unable to be shared. If you do see that when trying to post, it just means that Facebook has changed their privacy settings again. So you need to return to settings, remove the link, and then log in again. It'll take all of a couple seconds to do that. Now, that being said, we are working on a way where this will be done for you on the back end um, outside of business hours. We hope to have that available soon. All right, so how does it work? <laughs> it's so simple, it's so cool. So once you have everything set up, when you go return to your image library, you will see the Facebook and Instagram icons above the images. So if you don't see those, Im those icons, it's a good indication that you don't have it connected. So check your settings. Anyway. So all you need to do is find an image that you like and click on either the Facebook or the Instagram icon above it. That will determine where the image will be shared. Type out your caption below under the image message. You can include at tags and hashtags in this comment, you know, whatever you like, and then click share. Once you click share, you'll see notification in Astro that the image has been successfully shared. And then if you go to your actual page, like if you wanted to boost your post, like on Facebook, um, or put a comment in on um, Instagram, you'll see your post right there at the top as if you shared it directly from that page. All right, so here's some tips to note. So, the optimized for social media images. So all images will show their size dimensions below them. So you'll see the exact pixel dimensions and you will see, you know, whether it's in, you know, kilobytes or megabytes, okay? The ones with that are a higher resolution will show that thumbs up icon for you. Now, Facebook versus Instagram when posting. So Instagram, as you may already know, loves 1080 by 1080 pixel images. So those will look best if posted using Astro Social. Now, if you do post a longer, like a rectangular image to Instagram, what Instagram will do is it'll crop it to the center. And if somebody clicks on that image, you know, from your Instagram page, it will expand it into a wider, um, into the full image. Now, Facebook, if posting an image directly from Astro Social under your image library, any size will really work because you're just posting the image with a caption. Now, if you're using the, um, the template, the campaign templates, like if you're posting to your Facebook timeline, um, you are gonna wanna choose a 1200 by 628 pixel image as your title image to be you know, the representative image in the actual post. Um, and this typically will be image number two on Astro generated templates. Um, these are like the, you know, the thick rectangular ones up at the top. And these are all of the images that I make for, you know, holiday, um, you know, social media, you can find them under adoption as well. And like I said, they do see, you do see the dimensions below the image. Now, locating the at tag. So when you actually want to tag a brand's page directly, or if you wanted to tag Astro's page directly in a post that you share, you can go into Facebook or Instagram and find their ads below the name of the actual page. And then you can just copy paste that into the actual comment um, before sharing it. All right. So this is what an actual Facebook template campaign will look like in a Facebook, like in Facebook, once it's shared. So what I did for this, and I can show you the exact um, process after we finished the little presentation here. So what we did was we started a, um, we went to campaigns, we selected template campaign, we checked the, fo the box for Facebook, and then we proceeded on to the next page. Now, since you're just posting it to Facebook, you know, you're not picking a recipient list because 
doesn't app apply. I mean, you can, like you can choose to do like email and all the other stuff. Like you can check all the boxes if you want to, but if you just do Facebook, no need to pick a list. And then when you move on to the next page, you can choose the template that you wish to use. You would add your content to your template just like you would normally. And then you would click save and queue for sending. Upon doing that, you're gonna see a pop-up. And from there is where you're actually going to set up your post. So the first thing that you're, need, you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the image. So the image that you're choosing is gonna be the one that is, you know, gonna show up in the actual post. So the little cat with the toe beans here is the one that I chose. And then you're gonna give it a subject. So the subject that I chose was meow is the time for offers. And you don't want it to be too long because it'll dot, dot, dot on you. You think of it as like a standard, you know, subject line. Then once you click share, it's gonna open up another tab and now you're actually in Facebook. So from there, you can choose a page to post on and it can be any page. Like you don't have to pick the ones that you have directly linked to um, Astro Social. You can go through and pick a different one. Um, and then, you know, also make sure that you are, like if it shows your personal page, that you're going to that little menu and selecting, you know, choose on the page that you manage. Now, this is where you, could, and you can type in your full comment. So this is what appears above the image when it's shared. So you can type in, you know, any sort of, you know, fun details about what you're posting about. You can include your at tags and hashtags. And since you're actually in Facebook while doing this, um, Facebook will help you populate those at tags. Once it is ready to go, you're just going to click post to Facebook at the very bottom of the page. And then once that is done, if you want to, you can go into your Facebook page and you can boost it if you want to increase your reach. Um, and then from there, obviously, viewers can like, comment and share. And if they do click on that image, it will open up your full template with everything that you included in it. So that's really cool. All right. So some of the things that you can post about. So. You know, typically, you know, within the brand media library, you're going to find a lot of images related to the programs that you're enrolled in. So you have like your Astro Offer images, you know, sharing the love, frequent buyer, and then the brands will also post um, and share images, you know, content in there relating to maybe the brand themselves, you know, educational information, um, infographs, things like that. So you can, you know, post that content. Um, this is also a great way to share information about your free mobile app. Now, if you do share about your mobile app, make sure that you do mention that they do need an account with you in order to access it. But it'll get the word out that you have one. And, you know, that's a pretty cool thing to, to tell people about. Be like, we have what you need. And then obviously, if you guys are doing adoption events or, you know, any other fun event at your store, um, you know, of course, you can use Astro Social to post about that. And like I said, you can post images directly from My Media. So if you have, you know, some really cool images that you put together and you upload it to My Media within the Astro Image Library, you can then post it to your social pages, like Instagram, for instance, without having to fumble around with your phone and, and do it that way. All right, so this is how everything is connected. So as you guys know, Astro Loyalty is all about connecting the many aspects of the pet industry together in one unified force. So we have the Astro Marketing Suite, which our retailers have access to. And then we have our brand portals or our program portals that our Astro brands have access to. So let's start with the Marketing Suite. So we have the Brand Media Library. And within the Brand Media Library, there is a subfolder called you know, Brand Social Media and Social Media. This is where all of the imagery that the brands upload into their own portals will be viewable for you, the ones that they've intended for social media use. Now, it's all about intention here because images can be uploaded to any category within brand media. So, you know, we'll get into that later about, you know, what the intended purpose of certain images. Now, all program images offer frequent buyers sharing the love can be posted socially. Um, now, most shelf talker images and um, are going to be too large, like either too tall or just, you know, huge, <laughs> huge in that sense than just too big to post. Um, on the flip side, the logos are most likely going to be too small um, to post functionally. 
Now, most images are associated with the programs that your store is enrolled in. Um, with the exception of Astro Offer imagery, you will be able to see images belonging to Astro Offers that you're not currently enrolled in, and that's to help you enroll in something that you may have missed. But for the most part, what you see is related to what your store is participating in. Now, the brand portal. So this is, these are the Astro program portals. This is where our brands will actually log into Astro themselves and review and see the actual loyalty programs that they have published um, throughout the US and Canada. Within this portal, there is a section under utilities called My Image Assets. So uploading and categorizing images here, this will actually add them to your brand's folder within the brand media library. You can upload images generally, or upon uploading them, you can directly associate them with a published program. However, however you associate an image will affect how that image is visible to retailers using the marketing suite. So only retailers who are enrolled in your programs will have access to the associated images. So if you are posting images directly to the social media folder of, of my image assets, you do want to make sure that you are keeping in mind the, um, the preferred dimensions like Instagram 1080 by 1080 and, you know, Facebook, there is more of a flux there. Um, but typically the ones that I make for Facebook are 1200 by 628. All right. And once an image is uploaded to my image assets, you can choose to remove it and you can change its associations or its program associations. Um, I should note too, Astro, um, Astro people, <laughs> such as myself, are the only people that can actually edit the published programs and change the primary images associated with those programs. So as you guys know, when you're submitting a new program for publication, you are contributing an image, and then Astro will add that image to your program directly. And then from that point, you are free to associate any additional imagery that you wish. So a lot of brands, what they'll do is they'll you know, send us a, for instance, like an offer image or an offer program. That'll be the primary image. And then they'll also um, upload additional product imagery um, to my image assets and, um, you know, associate those or they'll create um, like social media post related images related to that offer and upload those as alternates. All right. So now resources. So I mentioned some of these already, but I wanted to reiterate them here. And all of these links you can find in the chat if you scroll up. So we have our Astro blog. Within the blog, we have marketing guides. Um, the section under neighborhood, uh, the section for neighborhood retailer will include our like tips and you know best practices, articles on you know methods of communication, merchandising, you know anything you could possibly think of relating to shopping local in your store. You'll find some information in there, and then of course we have our fresh news articles which if there's anything going on with Astro in general, or we've published new content, either marketing guides or neighborhood retailer, or even neighborhood pet for that matter, um, we will mention it in fresh news. So our, that's definitely a place to um, pay attention to. Astro Knowledge Base, this is the gigantic <laughs> resource that we have with articles and videos and things on how to use the materials within Astro overall. So in the chat, I put in a link that will take you directly to the marketing suite knowledge base, which is a subsection of the master um, knowledge base for Astro. Um, you can also access the knowledge base specific articles related to what you may need help with. So the marketing suite is completely riddled with question mark icons all over. So if you're stuck and you see a question mark on that page, click that question mark, it'll take you directly to an article that pertains to what you're trying to do. You can also, of course, click on the help menu and that will take you to the full knowledge base. And the cool thing about that is you can even submit a ticket from there if you need further help. All right, and then we have Astro support. So, you know, you're all, of course, welcome to email support directly, support at astroloyalty.com. And that goes for our retailers or our brand partners. We can help anybody with anything that they need from there. And you can also create a ticket if you go to help, retailers can if you go to help and um, you can generate one from there. 
And then, of course, if you want some one on one support with me, um, you're trying to work out a specific campaign or you want to discuss some you know, content that you would like for your store or you know, anything that you can possibly think of, um, you're welcome to schedule a one on one call with me using that link, which you'll also find in the chat. All right. So the best thing that you guys can do or one of the things you guys can do, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram and you can reach out to us very easily via support if you need to. So we got Astro Pet Loyalty, Astro Loyalty for Instagram and support astroloyalty.com. And then finally, I found this cool quote because I thought it was cool. No, whatever. And I didn't want to have 13 slides because I'm weird like that. So um, social media is about people. So it's not just about your business. So provide for the people and the people will provide for you. So I feel like the pages that have the most success are the ones that just keep it light and fun and, you know, share content that both relates to, you know, what they have going on at their store, but, you know, also having fun and sharing, you know, things about, you know, their customers themselves. So, you know, we'll, next month we are going to do another deep dive into sharing the love, which, you know, is a beautiful way of, you know, sharing really high quality content about, you know, the, the pet owners that come into your store that adopted in your community. So that again, we will cover next month. So once I have the um, calendar ready for the marketing, um, you know, webinars for the month of September, I will update the original page, which I will share in the chat right now. So it'll always be the same page if you ever need to find a new webinar for the marketing suite, be that guy right there. And I will update this page probably this Friday. Um, you'll see new, new webinars up there. So let me go, we can go into, we have a little bit of time, we can go into actually, um, we can go into Astro Loyalty right now. So let me see if I can figure out how to do this again. Oh, share screen. Beautiful. I'm gonna put you guys in a weird tunnel in real quick. One second. Ooh. Okay. All right. Actually, let me do it another way. One second, guys. Sorry. I'll do it this way. I'll pick a tab. Love it. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> sorry. Let me go back out real quick. And so from, we'll start first with um, Astro Social. So Astro Social, you can just pop right into your image library and you'll find all of the, um, the icons above the images there. If you do not see the icons, the Facebook and Instagram icons, go back out to your dashboard and go to your settings and check this guy right here. Link Astro Social app and connect Facebook. Um, and then you should see a button right here that says log in. If you need help with this section, there is a question mark there for you. All right, so image library, we're actually going to, so we can find, we can go, if we wanted to go to one of the Astro Media, social media images. So if we go into Astro Media and go to Astro Social Media, and the same applies for brand media. So if you go to brand media, there'll be a drop down there and you can select um, social media for brand media. So to post, it's just a matter of clicking on that icon there. And then you can actually, you know, type in your full message there, including all of your, you know, your at tags, your hashtags, all of that. And then it's just a matter of clicking share. And if you get one of these, I actually did set this up but just so this. If you get one of these and it says image failed to be shared, like I said before, you're just going to go back out to your marketing suite dashboard. You're going to go to settings. You're going to remove. And then you're going to click log in again. And if you already logged in previously, it's right there for you. So you can just click continue. Now, within campaigns, if you wanted to do an actual um, Facebook post within your campaigns, all you need to do is start a template campaign, just like you would normally, you would click new template campaign. I already have one started here. So like I said, all you have to do is make sure that this box is checked and that would be a campaign directly to Facebook. You don't even have to check these other guys. So you would click continue. 
And if you hadn't already plugged in a template, you would go ahead and do so now. Um, and then, you know, you can add all the offers that you wanted to. So upcoming, so tomorrow actually is National Dog Day. So I put together this template you can actually find in the Astro Template Library under Holiday. And up at the top, it includes some information about the holiday itself. And then there's several, um, you know, promo offer elements that you can, you know, add your specific offers to. You definitely want to make sure that you're adding offers that, you know, pertain to dogs, um, you know, on there. So you can get those all together. If you are doing sharing the love, sharing the love information is also a part of this template along with a button. And then all you're going to do is select save and queue for sending. Since we're not sending it as any one of these, it's not going to, you know, show them as, you know, being part of it. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to pick the image that you want to be representative of the whole post. And then you're going to put in your, um, your actual subject line. Happy National Dog Day. You're going to save that. And then it's just a matter of clicking share. And here I'm going to have to share my screen so you actually see where I'm at right now. One second. Yes, and this is, yeah, this is what the retailers see here. I'm just gonna share my whole screen so we're not having to bump around to multiple pages. Okay, cool. All right. Sorry, now that we're back on here, it does say, you know, last shared, what this is telling you is that you clicked this button um, or, you know, you're, you actually started um, this page here. So up at the top, you're going to say share on a page that you manage. And then you can choose a specific page. And up at the top, you can type in all of your, um, you know, you can type in your actual, um, you know, tag your brands that you like. You can tag Astro Loyalty. Um, you know, you can put in your hashtags. I think the official one for this one is National Dog Day. Great. And then type out whatever you like. And then once you're done, you're just going here and you're selecting to post. And that will do that. And then once that is all set, then you can go to your actual page and you'll see the post appear up at the top. So there's the one that we just made. And if somebody were to come here and view it, they can just click on that and it'll take them to the full template that you just made. And then all of these, they can click, you know, your get offers button, which would show them all of the offers that you're participating in. If they wanna see more details about a specific, you know, offer that's included on your page, they can click that. It'll take them directly to your My Astro web page and, you know, talk a little bit about that particular offer. So that is that. And if we go back to Facebook page here, we can actually show you exact so this is the one that I showed you in the presentation that was shared previously, the one about the kitty cat offers. This one is a direct Astro Social post. That was just the offer imagery for that particular brand. Same with this one here. And yeah, so you can, you know, fill everything up just how you like, however you like. And then within the actual Instagram, it's gonna be the same thing. So these images, you know, all of the offer images are 800 by 800. Um, the ones that are put under Astro Social or um, Brand Social is gonna be, you know, for Instagram intended, is gonna be 1080 by 1080. So, and then this one right here, this is just demonstrating what it would actually look like if a rectangular image was posted to Instagram. So as you can see, if you click on that image, it'll expand the whole thing. So you can do rectangular images if you want to, but you know, the square ones, you can be sure that it includes everything in that image. So yeah, let's see. Go back out. Perfect, so yeah, let me get this out of the way. All right, so yeah. 
if anybody has any other questions. So the actual, um, the brand library. So like if you're going into, like if you're a brand and you wanted to contribute to the marketing suite for the retailers to use, again, that's going to be housed under, you would log into your portal directly and you're going to go to utilities and it's going to be under my image assets. And then from there, you'll see all the categories listed and you can click on one and then you can click, you know, add image and put that image up into that space. So, um, so yeah, and if you guys wanted to schedule a time with me to talk about it directly, you're welcome to use the link, um, share it in the chat, the meet with link for me, and we can do that together. And also starting in the beginning of September, everybody, all of our brands are going to be hit up with um, instructions on how to, you know, best contribute images to the Astro Marketing Suite, um, dimension requirements, you know, um, how the images themselves should you know, look like what logo should be included. Um, you know, we want essentially what we're trying to do here since Astro Social allows our retailers to post images directly from the image library, like just the images themselves. Um, we would like for the images to be as representative as they can be about the actual, like of the actual programs that they are um, connected to. So yes, we will go into that in um, great detail. So stay tuned for that campaign. And there'll also be opportunities to speak with me directly if you guys need help. So that's speaking to the brands themselves. And obviously I'm always here for the retailers if you guys need me. So yeah, um, I just saw Kaboom. Love you, Stacey. Uh, <laughs> okay, so anybody else have any questions pertaining to Astro Social and its functionality? Okay. So yeah, I can show you one thing real quick. So I, I realize now I didn't actually show you it functioning. <laughs> I show you what it looks like if it if Facebook is rude and makes you do more um, privacy stuff, but I didn't show you the actual posting. So yeah, we'll just grab and offer images. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's do, um, I'm overthinking this guys, I'm sorry. Oh, let's do this one. This one's cute. Okay, so we'll we'll pick Instagram for this one because Instagram is one of the ones you know. Obviously, you have to you know be all over the place to do this. So, do that, and we'll click share. Oh, maybe it's the captions. It was not me then. <laughs> I swear, guys. All right, cool. And a lot of times, too, I'm in a building that has like a ton of people in it. They're all using the same Wi Fi, so that could be part of it, too. But who knows? Thank you, Tessa. All right, guys. Well, cool. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Um, this Friday, I'm going to be putting out another article, um, Fresh News. In that, there'll be a link to the new um, marketing webinars for September. And, you know, all of you are welcome to join. And, yeah, September is going to be the big month where we pretty everything up and make it as socially shareable as possible. So, yeah, exciting. Yes. <laughs> there, can get better. Awesome. Okay, guys. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming out and you'll have access to the um, recording in a, in a few if you need it, if you missed anything and want to review. And I did update that registration page. I will add a, you know, I added a link to it so that if you missed any of our past webinars, like if you didn't register for them, um, I do have them downloaded into Google and categorized into certain folders. So you can access, access them from that registration page and review any past um, you know, webinars that we did. So I did July 
And I did um, the August ones as well. And I'll just keep adding to it. So yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. And y'all enjoy the rest of your, uh, your week. Hopefully it's getting cooler wherever you are. Leaves will start to change. Pumpkins. Okay, cool. I'm getting weird. All right. Yay. Awesome. Bye, guys. <laughs>